welcome back. This is Ann's J Minor. Uh, well, I don't need to say that. Sorry about that. Won't do it again. Anyway, we're going to do our pickable objects tonight. Um, as you can see here, I've already got a bat. It's set up. Uh, won't be exporting materials. It's kind of irrelevant. Anyway, say we're done with our object. Alright, now what we need to do is we'll go to, f f uh, go to add empty and over here we'll go ahead and uh, choose a cube now here this is very important okay you want to scale down the size of your empty to get a good idea of what's going on and we want to make this uh, let's see here how big your hand uh, we'll say the hands about uh, we'll call it I don't know, 15 centimeters right there, and that brings her on. Nope, that's too big. One centimeter is too big, too, so we'll call it five centimeters. Yeah, that gives us a good uh, location there. Of course, I've already got a. Uh, group here cry export node and we'll call our cry export node pickable bat uh, let's make sure our, okay our materials are already set up they've got the uh, pickable bat one fizz default blah 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 all right now a couple ways we can do this um, you can well first of all we need to name our empty um, Hold on here. Bear with me one moment. Da, 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 da. Static, pickable objects. There we go. We need to name our empty. Grab one handed, grab underscore one handed underscore zero one. Alright. And then uh, from here, um, might be mistaken, but what we'll try is I think you, that that's all you got to do there is just position your object. Now, here's the funny thing, okay? Uh, parented, unparented, doesn't really matter. Whatever way you want to hold your object, you're going to be looking at it like this in the game. Uh, Z is going to be down. Don't know why. I uh, thought it was putting it uh, along the forward Y axis here, but apparently that's not it. Uh, but anyway, just uh, remember that when you go to position your object, just flip everything upside down and uh, go ahead and position your object in your cube there for your uh, empty. That gives you a good idea of where the uh, where your hand's going to hold it, how much it's going to be sticking out the bottom, the top, etc., etc. Um, also, make sure that your object here has got the uh, transforms. You know, the everything's applied. Your location, rotation, scale, and we want all that to be one in the uh, the node for the bat part or whatever your item is. Well, anyway, let's give this a shot here. Expect to export that to game. Come on over here. We'll go to. Nope, we want. Well, we'll go ahead and reload that so we can make sure that our pickable bats in there. And down here, where my mouse is, you can see the bat is there. But we're going to go to Entity, Physics, Basic Entity is what we want. Go ahead and drag that over, and we will change the name for the model here to our our bat, pickable bat. Go ahead and open that. You can see that well, it disappeared on me. There it is. You can see it's right there. Now another thing we got to do in order to make this pickable is we've got to either set the density or the mass to something that's uh, relevant to the bat. Uh, I'll just say 15 for that. 
We also want to, uh, this part here where it says pickable, we want to set that to true. And now, in game, we should, yep, there we go. Now when we walk up to it, pick it up, there we go. We've got a pickable bat. And, uh, of course, we want to get off into some Lewis scripting. You can make it to where you can swing it, I guess. Or right mouse button throws it. And that's it. Uh, you can parent it, uh, the empty, to the, uh, you can parent the object to the empty, or you can just leave it like that. It works the same either way. And that's your pickable object tutorial for this evening. Thank you.